The Oculus Quest 2 typically requires controllers for its initial setup process. But what if you don't have controllers? Is there a way around this requirement? The standard setup process involves pairing your headset with the Oculus mobile app on your smartphone, along with creating or logging into a Facebook or Meta account. This creates a challenge for users who purchase used Quest 2 headsets without controllers or those looking to explore alternative setup methods. Some users have reported success using the headset's volume buttons combined with head tracking to navigate the initial menu and enable hand tracking features. However, as of July 2025, the most common advice from the VR community is that controllers are still necessary for reliable initial setup. Additionally, keep in mind that an internet connection is required for the initial setup process and for downloading software updates to your headset. While some alternative methods exist, the most reliable approach remains using controllers for the initial setup process. If you don't have controllers, the first method to try is using the headset's built-in volume buttons combined with head tracking. This allows you to navigate the interface and potentially enable hand tracking without controllers. The simplest and most reliable solution is to borrow controllers from someone else who owns a Quest headset. This allows you to complete the standard setup process without any complications. For a more technical approach, you can use the Oculus Developer Hub on your PC. This method requires installing the Hub software, connecting your Quest with a USB-C cable, and using the Device Manager to set up the headset. Here's what the Oculus Developer Hub looks like when your Quest is connected. You can see the device status and various management options available through the PC interface. To enable Developer Mode, you'll need to register as a developer on the Oculus website first. Then, you can enable developer mode through the Oculus mobile app in your device settings. Some users have tried alternative methods like connecting an Xbox controller or using AirLink to connect to a PC, but these approaches have limited success rates and may not work reliably for initial setup. Remember that regardless of which method you choose, a Facebook or Meta account is generally required for Quest setup. This is a fundamental requirement that applies to all workaround methods.